I'm starting something here because I get the feeling I'm going to need it. I'm going to start the shitty movie counter 2014, and you guessed it, we're at number one right now. Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, is the fifth Paranormal Activity movie, and it follows this kid who gets superpowers, and it's a demon, and it somehow very, very, very briefly ties into Paranormal Activity. This pretty much could have been Chronicle 2, though. Now, going into this movie, I thought it was gonna be shit, and coming out, it's shit. When you go into these movies, you know what to expect, and I knew what to expect from this movie. I expected jump scares, I expected a very boring movie for about 50 minutes, and I expected terrible acting, and that's exactly what I got with this movie. And I, I should be angrier, I should be really ripping this movie apart, but I expected it, and it's just... I'm here, I'm talking about it, I just... I want to get through this movie and move on with my life. I'm probably going to get pissed off though by the end of the video because I am going to talk about the ending. But before I do that, this movie just overall, it has bad acting from actors you're never going to see again. The camera shots are just atrocious. It's not well filmed at all. And I get that it's not supposed to be because it's found footage, but even the found footage shots, does everyone have to be like this the whole time when they're filming the movie? Can't they just keep a steady shot when they're just talking to someone? Is it really that hard? And the scares in this movie, the scares, they don't even attempt that many scares in this movie. They disperse a few in there, but there's just not a lot of scares in this movie. It's more of an action movie, and that's really... It's weird. I mean, the scares in the movie, though, they're just jump scares. It's like, oh, there's a guy, there's a noise, turn around, boom, there's a face. Boom, there's kids without eyes, and then it's just... It's so tired, and I could pre... I telegraphed every single scare in this movie. That is not good. This movie is so fucking boring. You just sit there the whole time. Oh, this kid's graduating. Oh, look, they're doing pot or crack or whatever they were smoking. Oh, look, they're cooking with their grandma. They're playing with their dog. Oh my God, they're shooting off fireworks. Who gives a fuck about what these people do? If you're at least, if you're gonna have a horror movie, I know it's gonna be shitty. At least try to scare me. Don't show me these assholes' mundane lives. And it, it's just. I hated it. Let's talk about the ending. Spoilers from here on out. This movie, the ending to this movie, I mean, holy shit. Like, they bring in that girl in the near the end of the movie who talks about how even if Jesse becomes Jesse again, he's not going to be Jesse anymore, whatever she said. And this movie tries to tie into the ending by, like, adding in Katie. This, it, I just could not follow what was going on. Because, first of all, these people deserve to die. You went into a cultist house and you brought two gangsters with guns who got taken out easily. Whatever, besides the fact, that kid, he goes into that closet, right, and he's hiding there and he's holding the door and the people walk away after they don't think he's in there or they can't open the door or whatever. You're gonna walk back out there knowing that this place is riddled with these people rather than staying put and hoping they don't find you. Look, I get there's no real way out of this situation, but you deserve to die. You're just fucking retarded. And then, then Katie comes down the stairs and then she, she brings Mika down there because apparently she sees the kid and then she stabs Mika in the stomach and what the fuck am I watching? And then, 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 then the Jesse kid runs up and he looks like, a, I don't even know how to describe it, he just looks like a demon minotaur. I don't, that's probably not accurate, but that's what I saw it as. I don't know what the fuck they're doing and now the witches are creating an evil army. It's like, this is the Jump the Shark movie for Paranormal Activity because they were shitty before, but they were they were just shitty, and now they're shitty jumping the shark shitty, and I just, Paranormal Activity 5 is coming out in about nine months, and I'm gonna have to endure another one of these where the audience is full of preteens squealing their fucking heads off for the entire movie. Eee, look at that! Oh, he jumped out! We saw that coming, but we're gonna scream anyway because we're fucking annoying. Oh my god, I hated this movie. I get the feeling that most of January is gonna be like this, and hell, even most of February doesn't look too good either. I'm gonna be angry. I get the feeling I'm gonna be angry for a long time this year. Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, fucking blows. I I'm giving it a fucking F. I, I almost said D for some reason, but it's an F. It's a terrible movie. Don't see it. It's awful. It's not scary. It's not entertaining. It's boring as shit. Just 
don't see it. So what'd you guys think of Paranormal Activity, the marked ones? Did you hate it? Did you hate it? Did you hate it? Write your beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down there, because if you don't, you know, I could, I could put in a demon parody where something attacks me, but you know, Paranormal Activity doesn't even deserve that. This is just, don't see this movie.